Hi, in this video I go through the rules for building rear extensions under permitted development. This is video number three in a series of videos that started with number one considering eligibility for permitted development. Video number two listed the ten conditions applicable to all extensions. It's recommended that you watch videos one and two before you watch this one. Looking first at a single story rear extension, the overall height cannot be more than 4 metres. The eaves of the rear extension cannot be higher than the eaves of the original house. And where the extension is within 2 metres of the boundary, the eaves cannot be higher than 3 metres. Maximum depth varies dependent on whether you secure prior approval for a longer extension. Without prior approval, a single storey extension must not extend beyond the rear wall of the original house by more than 3 metres for a terraced or semi-detached house and 4 metres for a detached house. The rear wall or walls of a house are those which are directly opposite the front of the house. The maximum depth is measured from the base of the rear wall of the original house to the outer edge of the wall of the extension, not in including any guttering or barge boards. With prior approval, a single storey rear extension can be up to 6 metres long for a terraced or semi-detached house and up to 8 metres long for a detached house. Note that prior approval for a longer rear extension is not available if the house is on Article 23 land or on a site of special scientific interest. Prior approval is achieved by engaging in a neighbour consultation scheme, which has the following procedure. Before the development is started, the local planning authority must receive a written description of the proposed development, and a plan showing the original house, any existing enlargement to which the enlarged part will be joined, and the proposed development. The local planning authority must then give adjoining neighbours notice of the proposal and the opportunity to object. If anyone objects to the proposed development, then the local planning authority must assess the impact of the proposed development on the amenity of any adjoining premises. If the planning office does not make a decision regarding the prior approval within 42 days, work may commence on the extension. If the planning office does make a decision regarding the prior approval within 42 days, it's likely to be one of the following. Prior approval is not required, is granted, is granted with conditions, or is refused. With these first two decisions, work can commence. With these two decisions, you have the option to appeal. Where a new extension is joined to an existing extension, the limits described above still apply. On a terraced or semi-detached house with prior approval, the maximum allowable depth is 4 metres. With a pre-existing 3 metre rear extension, you can only extend a further 1 metre under PD rules. On a detached house with prior approval, the maximum allowable depth is 8 metres. With a pre-existing 3 metre rear extension, you can extend a further 5 metres under PD rules. Where the original rear wall of a house is stepped, then each of these walls will form the rear wall of the original dwelling house. In such cases, the limits on extensions apply to any of the rear walls being extended beyond. On this example, a semi-detached house has an original stepped rear elevation. If 3 metre extensions are added to each step, this complies with PD rules. In this example, the house owner wants to extend the original stepped rear elevation to achieve a continuous rear wall. On the right, this part of the extension would be 9 metres, and so it cannot be achieved under PD rules. 
We're about two thirds of the way through this video. If you're finding it useful, I would appreciate a click on the thumbs up or subscribe buttons below. And please don't hesitate to ask a question or make a suggestion in the comments. Turning to the double story rear extension, it has the following limitations. Article 2.3 land. You're not allowed to build a double story rear extension on Article 2.3 land. Maximum depth. A double story rear extension has a maximum allowable depth of 3 meters on all types of houses, whether detached, semi detached, or terrace. There is no opportunity to extend further by prior approval. Where a new extension is joined to an existing extension, the 3 meter depth limit applies to the total enlargement. For example, the detached house has an existing single story ground floor extension, not part of the original house, with a depth of 4 meters. It is not possible to add a first floor extension above this under PD rules, as the total enlargement of the house would then consist of more than one story and would extend beyond a rear wall by more than three meters. Distance from boundary. A double story rear extension must be at least seven meters away from any boundary of the curtilage which is opposite the rear wall of the house being enlarged. This example does not comply with this limitation. This example does comply. Roof pitch. The extension roof pitch must be the same as the original house roof pitch. Side windows. Any upper floor window situated in a side elevation of the dwelling house must be obscure glazed to level three. One-way glass is not compliant. Also, the window should be non-opening unless the opening part is more than 1.7 meters above the floor of the room. Where such a window is on a staircase or a landing, i.e. not in a room, the 1.7 meter measurement should be made from the stair or landing immediately below the center of the window upwards to the opening part. That's it for this video. In the next one, video number four, I go through the rules for building side extensions under permitted development. Thanks for watching.